Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a super requested video for all of you. So Jujubee just came out with a new midi backpack. So right here in the middle is the midi backpack. Now this one is in the Hello Bakery print. And a lot of you have wanted to know a couple things. How does it compare to the B packed and the mini B? And you've wanted to know what the capacity is in comparison to the B packed and the mini B in regards to when you pack it as a diaper bag and when you pack it as a school bag. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you right now. So right now the B packed is full, it's packed as a diaper bag. I have never packed up the midi and it's been a long time since I packed up a mini B. So I'm gonna take everything from here, try to put it in the midi and then we're gonna try to put it in the, the mini B, which is gonna be a really funny little challenge. And then after that, we're gonna take some school supplies and we're gonna do the same thing. So. We're gonna go ahead again and compare the B-Pack. Now this B-Pack is in Camp Toki, the Prince Camp Toki. This midi right here is in Hello Bakery. And the mini B right here is in my favorite print right now in all of the mini Bs, which is Hello Perky. So, so cute. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm actually really curious to see how this is gonna go. Because like I said, I've never packed up the midi before and it's been a really long time since I packed up a mini B. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, for those of you who have never seen a B-Pack before, I will go ahead and link a B-Pack video right up here in the iCard. I will also link it down in the description box below. So if you want a full thorough view of the B-Pack, all the nooks and crannies, you can go ahead and watch. Because normally what I do on my videos is I go about all about what's on the outside of the bag, and then I talk about all about what's on the inside of the bag, talk about the internal structure and all that. I'm not gonna do that for any of these bags on this video except the Midi because it's brand new, but the Mini B and the B Pack, I'm gonna go ahead and link previous videos for those of you who want detailed looks on the inside. Now again, this is the Camp Toki print. Right here, I do have the Mommy Pocket, and before we get started, let me go ahead and tell you that my daughter actually carries this exact same bag for kindergarten. So my five-year-old is in kindergarten, and this happens to be her kindergarten bag. Not this particular one, but she has her own, and she's loving it for kindergarten. It works great as a kindergarten bag, so I am myself very curious how the midi is going to hold up against the b-packed because my four-year-old has already picked the hello bakery midi to be her bag for next year for kindergarten so i'm hoping you guys fingers crossed that it works as good as the b-packed all right so here we go so front pocket right here i do have this packed as my mommy pocket now remember right now we have this packed as a diaper bag so right here in the front you do have an open space i have a lip oil i have a lipstick and i have a lip gloss then there's also two mesh pockets. They're both elasticized. And right here in this first one, I have a little card holder. This is made by Perfectly Paired. And I'll link all the custom information I will link down in the description box below. This has our museum passes in it. And then the identical pouch right next to it. I have a pack party case with my business cards in it. Now right here on the zipper pull, you will see that I do have a bow. This is also made by Perfectly Paired. Turning the bag around, I do have a grab handle right here on the top. This is a dedicated backpack bag. All three of these bags that we're talking about are dedicated backpack bags. I do have my Jujubee Star right here on the top. Then moving down here, we do have a bottle pocket. The bottle pocket is elasticized, but it doesn't have an extra elastic to make it even more expandable. So I have a posh healer stick. And I have a fairly significant sized hand lotion. Other side of the bag, I have my favorite hand sanitizer right now, the Baby Bum. And one of our favorite sunscreens, also made by Baby Bum. On the back side of the bag, you're going to notice that you do have this nice mesh paneling. It's nice and breathable, as well as on the back side of the backpack straps, you also have this breathable mesh. The top of the bag right here, you do have a hidden compartment. I love this little compartment. And in here... All I have are quick grab things, so right now it's just the disposable potty seat covers for public potties. Moving on to the front of the bag, you do have the two zipper pulls. So right on the front of the bag right here, you're going to notice that there is one zippered compartment. And in here, I just have a GGB coin purse and the Donatella sweet shop print. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos before, you know this is where I keep things I don't want the girls to access very easily. So I have spare contacts, migraine medication, hair ties, those sort of things. Let me go ahead and fold this down and give you a better look now at what's in the inside of this bag. So this is how I have it packed before we take anything out. 
So right here in front, I do have my Itsy Ritsy Wipes case with about a half full pack of the Aqua Pure Wipes in it. Then standing right here along the side, I have a full size fossil wallet. And I go back and forth, you guys. I either use a small set piece as my wallet or I use a full size wallet. There's kind of no in between for me. Now standing right here along the back, which you'll see is just two coloring activities. Now my girls are four and five, but they have been back in love with these magic ink. Um, originally they were from the Target Dollar Spot. These I think came from Amazon, but they are loving these lately and I'm happy with that because they don't make a mess. And I'll show you what the bag looks like now. So right next to that here, I do have a reusable shopping bag. I got this from my friend, April, who went to Hawaii. She was so sweet and she brought this back for me. She's Mommy Apes on YouTube and on Instagram and she's amazing and so sweet. I will link her information below for anybody who wants to check out her channel. Do yourself a favor, she is fantastic. Then right here, I have a set of Tegu blocks. These are those magnetic blocks. My girls, I bought these when they were very little, when they were like one, you know, and they still love them. So you keep those in there. And I switch out what's in my bag all the time to keep the girls entertained. Then standing right here, I have a Simply Gilded, uh, Simply Gilded pouch that has some of my mommy makeup needs in it. I'll show you what the bottom of the bag looks like now. Now right in front, I have a Jujube medium set piece. And then here, this would be our snack slash restaurant essentials. So I have a soft bake oatmeal bar. I have a Snoofy B case that has two silicone rings in it. They can be used as teethers. They can be used to make a blanket into a nursing scarf. We use them to turn cloth napkins into bibs. So every time I show this case, everybody wants to know what it is. This was a sugar burger case. It used to have silverware in it, but now I put our granola bars in it so they don't get smashed. And I can put two bars in here. I can put a granola bar and a protein bar in there. The girls ate the protein bar earlier today. Then I have four hand sanitizer wipes. And a whole mess of table topper mats. Now the only thing left in here is a large set piece. And in here, this is what would be considered our diapering essentials. Now my girls are four and five. They've both been potty trained for a really long time, but I still take changes of clothes with us. You never know when someone's gonna slip, fall, or spill something. So I have two pairs of socks. I have one long sleeve t-shirt in size six that would fit either of my girls. And I have a change kit plus. This has one disposable baggie, one set of panties, one pair of pants, and six wipes. So I do have an emergency set of pants, I have an emergency set of panties, a t-shirt, and two socks. And that was everything that was inside of this B packed. Now let's go ahead and see what we can get back into the midi. Okay guys, so let's go over the features of the midi super, super fast. So you have one mommy pocket here, and it's a big open pocket, so there's no internal organization, no internal structure. You have a bottle pocket on either side. These do feel like they're insulated and they have the extra elastic. So you get the extra stretch where well, you didn't have that on the B pack. So you have that on either side. You do have a grab handle at the top. And again, all of three of these bags are dedicated backpack bags. So unlike the, unlike the B pack, the midi has a padded back, but it's not a mesh backing. So it doesn't have the breathable mesh. And then it has the seatbelt webbing for the straps instead of having the fabric straps with the mesh on the underside. Opens with two zipper pulls, just like the B-Pack did. Now on the inside here, the midi actually has a slip pocket that's about half the length of the bag with an elasticized top. And it also has two smaller slip pockets with elasticized tops right on the front. Okay guys, so I'm gonna turn the bag towards me and I'm going to repack everything that I just pulled out of the B pack into the midi and hope that it fits. I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit so you're not staring at me doing this for a very long length of time. And then I'll just take everything out and show you where I put it. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy we'll be 
Okay guys, I was able to get every single item that I pulled out of the B-Packed into the midi. Very impressed with that. So, um, it feels a little bit snug at the bottom, but not too snug. Like you can see, like it's not too tight, like it's not ripping or anything. There's still a lot of room up here at the top. I didn't even feel it anywhere close to being at the top. Super impressed with how much this holds. And I really do like that this bag has internal organization versus the B-Packed that doesn't. Um, so I, I haven't carried this bag out yet, but I'm thinking that if this had mesh backing and it had mesh, it had the fabric and mesh backpack straps, it might be like the absolute perfect little bag. Um, but it packed up great. I seriously can't believe I got everything in there. So let me go ahead and show you. So I put the bow from, uh, I put the bow from Perfectly Paired right here. And I have my cards, my business cards. Then I have our, well, our museum passes, our museum passes. I have all of my lip supplies that I had in the other bag, all in here. And that's it for this pocket. Grab handle, just like on the B packed, I have my GGB star. Then I have my full size lotion. Again, turning the bag around, you do have that padded back, and you have the seatbelt straps. This side pocket, just like on the B packed, I have my hand sanitizer. And I have our sunscreen. Bag just opened with two zipper pulls. Let me go ahead and give you a look at what this bag looks like fully packed up. Let me see if I can open it up the whole way for you here. All right, so here we go. So right here in the front, I have my Simply Gilded pouch that has my mommy makeup stuff in it. I'm not going to take everything out of the pouches again because it's packed exactly the same. I do have my Hello Kitty reusable shopping bag. My Itsy Ritzy wipes case. Let me show you what it looks like now. So right here in front, I have my medium set piece. So remember, this has our snacks in it as well as the Snoopy Bee stuff that turns the napkins into bibs. Then right next to that is my large bee set piece by Jujubee. So this has our size six shirt, our handcraft change kit, as well as two pairs of socks. Then back here, let me go ahead and give you a shot of what this looks like. So remember you have the two slip pockets right in the front, and then you have the one larger slip pocket in the back, and then the zipper compartment. So in the first slip pocket right here, I stuck my full size wallet. On the other side, I have the Tegu blocks. Then back here in this very large slip pocket, I put the two magic ink pads. Then on this back side here, I stuck my Posh Healer stick, as well as my disposable potty seat cover, and my GGB small coin purse. So that's it for the midi, guys. I am really impressed with how this packed up. Really, really, really impressed with how it packed up. Now let's go ahead and try the mini bee and see how it compares. So here's a little bit of YouTube magic, you guys. I realized as I went to pack up the mini bee in Hello Perky and it doesn't have bottle pockets. And I wanted to make sure that I packed up one of the newer mini bees for two reasons. One is a lot of my viewers are newer pink ladies, so they're newer to GGB and may not have one of the older styles. And two, because this one does have bottle pockets, it's more in line with how the midi and how the bee packed are styled. So I'm gonna go ahead and not pack up the Hello Perky mini bee and I'm gonna pack up the Donatella Sweet Shop one so that it's more current and probably more like the one that you may own yourself. So let's go ahead and move this one out of the shot. I go ahead and start packing up the Donatella Sweet Shop Mini Bee. Okay, so here we go. Everything that fit in the B packed, I got in the midi. Everything I got in the midi, I got into the mini B. They all pack completely differently. 
Um, one of the reasons I think that the mini bee hold, held as much as the midi it did is that I really think that the base of the bag, this part here, is wider. So that when you go to put stuff in, like it is definitely wider. So like when I went to stick the small set, the when I went to stick the medium set piece and the large set piece side by side at the bottom of the bag, the base of the bag, I was able to do that much easier in the mini bee than I was in the midi. Now I could do it in the midi, but I had to, you know, stick it in there where in the mini bee it actually just like set really easily where here it was like just kind of finagling it perfectly. Um, so that's really interesting. Now if you don't have your medium and your large set pieces packed really, really full, then you wouldn't have that same problem because mine were pretty full. But again, I think that the it's because the mini bee, the base is just maybe like a half an inch wider. I'd have to look at the dimensions, which I, if I can find them, I'll put right here. But um, the base definitely feels like, at least when I was packing it, like it was easier. Now, just like I had extra room at the top of the midi, I have extra room at the top of the mini bee too. Like not even packed completely full. So really impressed with that. So right here, I put my perfectly paired bow, the front magnetic pocket right here. And again, for anybody who wants a full packing video on the mini bee, I will link one right up above here and in the description box below. But I put all of my lip things as well as my posh healer stick in this front pocket. Have the grab handle just like on the other two bags. I did stick my Juju B Pink Lady Star on there as well. Have the elasticized insulated bottle pocket just like on the midi. Have my full size hand lotion in there. And I purposely chose a full size hand lotion for this bag, you guys. Just like the B packed, you do have the mesh backing on the mini B and on the back of the backpack straps as well. Side bottle, bottle pocket over here. I have my sunscreen and my hand sanitizer. Bag does open with two zipper pulls, so which you'll notice with all three of these bags, because they do open with two zipper pulls. Now the B pack and the midi open halfway to 60% of the bag down. The mini B opens the whole way down, but does have gussets along the sides that prevents it from spilling your contents out. And this is what the bag looks like. Now you can see all this room that I have at the top. So right here in the front, I do have my Itsy Ritzy Wipes case. But look at all this room, you guys, that I had still left over. So right in the front here is my Simply Gilded pouch with my makeup in it. Then here I had my Tegu magnetic blocks, my reusable sack. Then right here is my medium set piece. So you see how easy these are sitting here? Like they're just sitting here and all this stuff's just behind. So the only internal organization that this bag has is a zipper pocket. So right here in the front, and again, it's not tight at all right here, you guys, is my medium set piece. This is the one that's full of our restaurant essentials and snacks. Then I had my, excuse me, then I have my large set piece. This has our change of clothes and our handcraft design kit, as well as our socks. Then standing right here, just like this, I had our two magic ink pads and my full size wallet was standing right there. So none of that was tight in there, you guys. And then in this zipper pocket back here, sorry, I'm at an awkward angle. I had to put my card case that has our museum passes. Then I have my business cards. I have a disposable potty seat cover. And our Jujubee coin purse with my medications. So let's go ahead and try out the school essentials in all three of these bags because I was able to get all of the essentials that I pack up in all three of these bags. Now again, they did pack totally differently, but they held the same amount. Now they did it again with a different amount of room left over at the end, but all held everything that I needed for like a half day out with my girls perfectly. But let's test them as a school bag. So again, the B pack is the bag that my daughter carries to kindergarten. So we're gonna go ahead and pack this up just like we would for kindergarten. This is her actual school folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right on in here. And then here is a little notebook. We're gonna go ahead and stick it right on in here. Now look at how much room, you guys. Look at how much room is still at the top of this. Now my daughter, she's in kindergarten. She doesn't even realize that this top pocket exists, I don't think, so she doesn't put anything in there. And let's go ahead and stick the Be Cool in there as well. Now for anybody who wants information on the Be Cool, I will link that up above in an iCard as well as down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and stick the Be Cool, which is Jujubee's new insulated lunch bag in here as well. 
So let's go ahead and give you a nice look at what that looks like. Hopefully you're getting a nice shot of what that looks like. So there's still extra room, lots of room at the top. Can still use this pocket if you wanted to because here's the flap to that top pocket. My daughter, again, she doesn't know it's there. So we usually just tuck it in there. Now this bag does also have that elasticized pocket in the back. Let's go ahead and zip it up. And it's not even stuck full, you guys. There's still lots and lots of room in here. All right, let's go ahead and try the same thing with the midi. Okay, so here's the midi. We're gonna go ahead and stick the blue folder, my daughter's blue folder, right in the center. We have the notebook right there. And then the GGB Be Cool. So we're gonna stick that in here. Okay, that pack's great. Oh, look, my hair clip. I wondered where that went. It was on the Be Cool this whole time. Okay, so you guys can see hopefully in here, You've got the folder, the pad, and the Be Cool. And it's gonna zip up great, I'm sure, because there's lots of room, it's not tight at all. That's a beautiful thing, you guys, look at that. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and try it with the mini Be. And my daughter's blue folder. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, the blue folder doesn't fit. See, I wouldn't wanna fold it over like that. If we took the blue folder out, the pad, the notebook will fit in there. Okay, so the notebook fits in there and the Be Cool fits in there really easy. Because remember how wide this bag is? So, you actually have a lot of room if you can see that. With just the notebook, spiral notebook, and the Be Cool, you have a lot of room. But the standard school folder does not fit in here. So if your child needs to carry a standard school folder, that's not gonna work. Okay, you guys, well, there you have it. So the B packed, the midi, and the mini B all held the same amount of diaper bag essentials, for lack of a better word. They packed differently, but they all held the same amount. When it came to the school supplies, the B packed and the midi packed the same amount packed great. The mini bee was able to hold the bee cool and the spiral notebook, but was not able to hold the full blue folder, which is an essential part of my daughter going to kindergarten. So I would not have been able to send her with the mini bee. Um, for us, she goes with the bee pack because the mini didn't exist, but my four-year-old is going to be very excited to know that she will be able to, she will be able to carry the Hello Bakery mini to kindergarten when she starts next year. Okay, you guys, so remember you have the GGB bee pack right here in the Camp Toki. You have the GGB Midi right here in Hello Bakery, and you have the GGB Mini B right here in Donatella's Sweet Shop. So I was shocked, absolutely shocked, you guys, that they all packed the same amount as far as a diaper bag goes. They packed totally differently, but they held the same amount. So it just depends on your packing style and how you want to go with that. Now, as far as the school bag goes, you can get away with the midi or you can get away with the B-packed and it's probably going to come down to whether or not you want the mesh backing on your back of your backpack as well as the mesh backing on the backpack straps. So as far as the school bag goes, they both did great. Now, you know, you might be able to get away with this for like kindergarten through maybe second grade, possibly third grade, but probably third on up, I would go with the B-packed. Just my perspective on it but they packed wonderfully. And again, I'm so glad that I did this because I was absolutely shocked. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely shocked. I wasn't shocked that the full size folder didn't fit in the mini B. I knew that from before, but the fact that it held the B cool and the spiral notebook so well, that was a surprise as well. So hopefully this video was beneficial to any of you who are trying to decide what bags to get for your littles or what bags to get for yourself if you're looking for a bag that holds a lot, but it's not necessarily a full size backpack. Um, so you have a lot of options available to you through GGB and, uh, loving them all like there's a time and a place for each one of these bags i love the styles again i'm really loving the internal organization of the midi i just wish it had the mesh backing and the mesh backpack the fabric straps with the mesh backing on as well but i do think that these seat belt straps look super super cute well that's it for me you guys if you're new to my channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back if you like what i'm doing please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up i'll talk to you all soon Bye bye